Good morning, it's Good morning. day two aboard the Navigator of the Seas. We are somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to Ensenada, we'll get there tomorrow. We're gonna do some activities today. There's a lot going on in the ship, like a lot, a lot, mm -hmm. almost overwhelming, but in a good way. So we're gonna head out, see what's good, check out maybe the casino again, yeah. um, the art gallery, check out maybe the sports deck and pool deck, all of that fun mm -hmm. stuff. There's a lot to do today, so <laughs> let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, Saturday. it's Saturday, new day. I will let you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? I would not know what day it was. You just know day two of cruise. I That's just all know, you know we hit April recently. <laughs> We're in April. <laughs> Okay, it's 11.39. We actually just signed up for like a little slot machine tournament at 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's $25 each and you play with $500 yeah, say, Yeah, I think, so yeah. So, we got my chart. Look, that's not that dollars so we just got a little card. We're mm -hmm. actually in two different um, rounds, so it's kind of a good thing, I feel like. I think so, yeah. It increases our chances, hopefully. Yeah, so we're very excited. Mm -hmm. Right next to the casino on deck four, they do have a Starbucks on board. They have a lot of the classic flavors and mm -hmm. a couple of the classic features, too. Yeah. The pinkity drinkity. <laughs> Donnie just signed up for the adult three-on-three uh, basketball three competition. Here he goes. Exercise I'm gonna get on the ship, so. Besides all the chewing of the food. <laughs> now what's happening? So we lost one, we're gonna sit. Um, each team's gonna play, we're an odd number of teams, so each team's gonna play each other once. I see. And then the top two will play each other at the end. And what's the prize? Loading rates, I think. <laughs> Hopefully a keychain. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so we just finished the slot machine tournament mm -hmm. down at the casino. It was the first time we've ever played one, so we both played individually. Mm -hmm. We were in separate. We were in separate rounds. So you were the last person in the first round, round one, and I was the first person in the second round, round two. Mm -hmm. And so there are five rounds, eight people in each round. They put your name on the slot machine like it's um, digital, so you can see which one to sit at. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like random, but. It was really fun, but I came in eighth of, of eight places, so I didn't <laughs> do so well. Even though I was like really on it really quick, mm -hmm. it's not really like that fast of a game. You're kind of just waiting for it to spin. And Donnie got like six out of eight. Yeah, so it's the it goes through all the rounds, and then the top eight people up. I think there was five rounds. Mm -hmm, with all the scores. Mm -hmm. The top eight people play one final round, and then the first place winner obviously takes away all the cash. Yeah, five hundred dollars is what it was today. Mm -hmm. So we had a really fun time. Yeah. And now we're back in the room, and we're gonna maybe go get some lunch at. Um, we're gonna try El Loco Fresh today. Not El Loco, but El Loco <laughs> Fresh on the top deck. All right, it's lunchtime. Thank you. Starting with the chicken. Um, you want to eat tortilla or no? Oh, I think it was well for us. Uh, chicken as well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, a little, yeah. Thank you. Got some chicken, which is really good. Uh, I'll do some carnitas as well. Get some carnitas. Perfect, thank you. Any rice? Have some black beans, please. More black beans. Thank you. I'll do some rice, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
quite tasty. Got some chips, nacho cheese, queso, some chili beef. Oh wow, they have like burritos already ready to go. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh yeah. All right, here is our lunch hole <laughs> from El Loco Fresh. We took it to the wind jammers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so we wanted to be, it is very, yeah. You can tell it's like pretty gloomy out there. But yeah, so got some rice, chips, carnitas. Uh, sorry, guacamole. rice, chicken, carnitas, and then chips and guacamole. Quesadilla, and then chicken burrito. I like it. They have a wrapper that has the actual name. Oh, yeah. It's like, pretty good, pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. And then lemonade, and then Courtney got some tea. <laughs> Let's eat. Since we're sitting down and enjoying our food at the Windjammer, we got Windjammer dessert. So this is like a blueberry mousse. Looks really, really light. <laughs> uh, like a chocolate fudge bar over here, and then a coconut like pie. I know it's yellow, but there's something else like in a there. Custard maybe? Yeah. yeah, looks good. Yeah. Courtney has tried all the desserts. She's gonna give us her expert <laughs> opinion. I went for the um, coconut custard thing first. Mm -hmm. Very good. Not like a ton of flavor, but it's a very good coconut custard. There's a coconut cream pie in there. Um, I'm like, did you grab the same chocolate bar as yesterday? It looks very similar. It has the cake, mousse, ganache, but it's like dark chocolate. Mm. So it hits way harder than yesterday. I prefer <laughs> this one. The texture's better as well. And then this um, blueberry mousse, mousse mm -hmm. is like light as air. <laughs> so smooth and soft. I would get this again for sure. Very, very good. Good surprise. We came back to the room to change real quick and head out to dinner. But yeah, we have a little tell friend not sure what on earth this is if you know what it is let us know in the comments give us your best guess mm -hmm. <laughs> all right dinner time jamie's italian let's do this eight o'clock we're ready mm -hmm. here is tonight's dinner menu for jamie's italian olives so good we've heard great things about the ultimate garlic bread from ordinary ventures peter kitra mm -hmm. we know it looks good so we're gonna try it because of them and all the pasta is made fresh daily so we're Looking forward to that. We love pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just got seated here at Jamie's Italian. Nice little table. Yeah, the entrance is kind of like right over here, and then right over here is like an open kitchen, so that's really cool. And then I love like all the like the wallpaper, very art scene here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. We have a nice window next to us, but it's too dark to see what's outside. But yeah. We know, we know the ocean's right there. We know it. Pitch, pitch black. So this is our first time here at the restaurant, and we let that our, our server asked us, and he kind of like gave us a little run through about a little bit about the restaurant. Yeah, Jamie and, Oliver, and then the menu is Italian, but seventy percent Italian, thirty percent British because mm -hmm. Jamie Oliver is British. So you'll notice posh fries, some other kind of like Burgers, prawns. Yeah. They call it prawns in Britain. So kind of you know some British thrown in as well, which we like that. You know, nice yeah. little blend. Mm -hmm. All right, first starter. Is out. Mm -hmm. The ultimate garlic bread. Mm -hmm. It is warm artisan buttermilk buns, herby garlic butter, veggie parmesan, and rosemary. Wow, well, it looks they really, smell really so good. good. This is what I was most excited for, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I can see like how the buns are split, and there's like oh, 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 oh pretty foul. Okay, on, yeah. I'm gonna grab one right now. I am so excited. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a monster. Okay, it's so soft. Oh my god, wow. it feels like a cloud with the outsides crispy. Mm. Okay. And then what do we get for, we got the wines, the rosé? We right? got the refreshing Roscato. It's made in Italy mm -hmm. and it is, has notes of red cherry and strawberry. And it's really nice. There's no bitterness at all. Very, very like light and refreshing. Nice. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. That Parmesan. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this looks amazing. The soft and the crunchy, like, a perfect contrast. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh yeah, it just looks, looks really good. And then I got, while well, we're sharing everything, but this is the black truffle arancini, is what he said. Crispy black truffle mozzarella risotto balls with truffle bechamel for dipping. Mm. Nice. Wow. Okay guys, we're gonna try the black truffle. truffle. Yeah. Could smell it immediately. They're not too big in person, which is nice because we ordered a lot of food and yeah. I was kind of worried. Like the size of a meatball. Oh, I saw a cheese pull. Mm. You see inside there? Risotto. Whoa. That looks so good. I can take a little mozzarella. Mm. <laughs> Hot, flavorful, creamy. Oh. <laughs> this is delicious. How's the sauce on the bottom? 
I didn't get too much, so I'm like kind of dipping it a little more right now. Yeah. Oh my god! You came at the right time. <laughs> it's great. Very. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was a lot of cheese. Yeah, cheese bowl, yeah. It's like a mozzarella no, stick no. in there. <laughs> this is. This is heaven on earth. Yeah. I got the penne pomodoro. It's tomato and basil sauce with creamy burrata. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's my kind of dish. I and got the prong linguine. Yeah, it was recommended by our waiter. Mm -hmm. uh, there is garlic prawn, tomato, shaved fennel, saffron, chili, and arugula. All right, the main course is here, the lasagna. Yeah, the baked lasagna. The baked oh lasagna. Gosh. Wow, yeah, it looks so oh. good. And I got Jamie Caesar salad. It's a special uh, kind of chicken. It's a white oak hash here, serene chicken breast with lemon. Oh, no, there's no lemon. <laughs> creamy red <and> lettuce, wow. <laughs> creamy dressing, and then I opted no for the pancetta. Yeah, no pancetta. But yeah, I'm actually glad I got a salad because we're already so full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best part of the meal. They said it themselves. They took my <laughs> quote. <laughs> we have here on the right it is Sky High. It is the lemon meringue cheesecake. And they said that the lemon is from Almafi. Italy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's a velvety mascarpone and lemon cheesecake with Italian meringue, lemon curd, and black currants. Beautiful. And, and then, then this is the epic hole. brownie. So it's got chocolate sauce, salted caramel popcorn, gelato, and caramelized popcorn. Beautiful. I remember Oregon Adventures really, really like this one. So we are excited for this. It looks so fudgy. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get over how tall <laughs> that lemon meringue and cheesecake is. Yes. <laughs> Let's dive in. All right, Courtney's gonna go for that lemon meringue it's cheesecake. A big spoonful. Yeah, this is. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> a little bit of every flavor in there. Mmm. Mm. This thing looks so good. tasty. Wow. It's really tart. Is it? But like the meringue isn't, so it kind of helps. Cut the lemon yeah, and this the cream is cheese. The one thing our waiter recommended over all other items on the That's dessert really menu. Good. It's really unique. I'm glad I'm trying it. I love meringue, like in general. <laughs> mm. That's awesome. Really smooth. Like you can tell the food here is very, very high quality too. Mm -hmm. It's like fine dining. It's our signature dining on the Oak Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, everything's made fresh. So it took us a while in a good way. I mean not complaining or thing, but yeah. we've been here for a while because all the meals are are made to order. About an hour and 45 minutes we've been here, but we've been enjoying the courses, kind of mm -hmm. like resting in between each one. Yeah. Should we try this brownie? Good. Let's go for it. I tried just the brownie first. Oh, it's thick. It's like, it's fudgy. Mmm. <laughs> Got a chocolate delicious. chunk in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mmm. Gelato is so smooth and creamy. I forgot it was gelato, yeah. Wow, it looks so it's like... It's really light, too. So. looks like a piece of the moon. A it just looks piece like... piece of popcorn. Mmm. <laughs> the caramel corn. It's really nice. Just finished dinner. We're gonna catch a 10-15 showing of Showgirl. Here at the Royal Theater on Deck 3. Let's head inside.
Okay, we just finished the show. Yeah, it was the showgirls past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. Lots of costume changes. I was impressed with the costumes. Very, very good. Great voices. Mm -hmm. Very talented. Yeah. What'd you think? It was it was a good show. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. I get when again I was like not like excited to see it, mm -hmm. but not like I was it exceeded expectations, I will say that. It was very good. Yes. Um I gotta say though, does Royal Caribbean own the rights to the greatest showman? Because <laughs> they be playing all the songs mm -hmm. in the ice show, ice skate, and then today they play like two songs in each. Yeah. So I think they own the rights. Maybe so they do. Yeah. I'm not mad. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, they had a little edge around in there as well. They did. They played mm -hmm. some current hits in it today too, like some Christina Aguilar, some um, Demi Lovato. It was fun. Good show. Go check it out. To, um, there's some like nightclub experience called Red going on. I think where the ice skating used to be. So yeah. we'll see. There's gonna be like some surprises. 11 p.m. So it's getting kind of late, but this is uh, <laughs> what time we're up. So, <laughs> all right, we made it back to the room. Mm -hmm. Picked up some little midnight snacks over here. Classic barbecue chicken pizza was a special flavor today. Mm -hmm. And then we liked that blueberry mousse so much. We got another one. Yeah, it was so and light and fluffy. Ran Harry. out of chocolate chips. I got no reason. <laughs> A cookie's a cookie, I'll, I'll take whatever they have. Wait, that closed at midnight, but it's past midnight and... It's still open. It's still open, yeah, yeah. so I'm not sure if it's 24 hours. So we did the red nightclub experience that was where the, um, the ice cream was yeah. the other night. Mm -hmm. it was interesting, they, I mean, they had red lights, that's what it was kind of like called red, and then they're playing DJ had some music, but that was pretty much it. There's no surprises or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and we, were, we weren't dancing on ice. We weren't dancing on ice. <laughs> they had put like boards over the, the, the ice. It was all smooth. It was safe to yeah, walk yeah. on. Um, yeah, it was it was interesting. Yeah, it was it fun. Was, yeah, we danced like a little bit. But yeah. it was kind of funny because there's like all the line. Like it's ice skating, so there's the, all the, the stadium seats. seating kind of. So we got in, everyone's like just kind of sitting in the chairs watching everyone on the dance floor. It felt a little, a little creepy at first. But then <laughs> people started getting on the dance floor and it wasn't as bad. Yeah. But yeah, I really checked it out. Um, happy back in the room. Mm hmm. Long day. <laughs> Very long day. Yeah, so I'm just going to chill, eat our snacks, and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, day three is tomorrow. So if you watch this one, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. <laughs> we will be posting day three shortly. Yeah. yeah I'll catch we'll you. See you on the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.